Hello and welcome for a new Vintage Chronicle. Today we will describe the 1985 set of action figures available on the market in the US. But above all, I would like you to subscribe to my channel by clicking to the bottom right here. It will allow me to give you more information about vintage Star Wars toys. 1985 is an incomplete year. What was scheduled never been really fully released as 14 figures on 15 were available in the US with a new packaging included a coin with new and old figure. The Power of the Force era remained very short on store shelf and there was no sales exclusive at the end of the year. So let's get the description started. In this last year dedicated to Star Wars, Kenner will increase Action Figures collection with 14 new characters. There were EV-99, R2-D2 pop-up lightsaber, Han Solo in Carbonite Chamber, Warrock, Imperial Dignitary, Romba, Baroda, Lando Calrissian General Pilot, Anakin Skywalker, Luke Skywalker Stormtrooper Outfit, Imperial Gunner, Luke Skywalker in Battle Poncho, A-Wing Pilot, and a Man, -A -Man. In spring 1985, Kerstner will find new action figures design packaging. The idea is regrouping every figure under the same logo, the power of the force. After seven years, Kenner wished to boost toy line and marketing target to keep selling Star Wars action figures with special coins offer. Each figure is sold with a rectangular cardboard packaging where a character is placed into a transparent blister plus coins above figures and that allows future owner to choose which character he wish to buy. At the top left hand side, you will see a stock unit keeping number, a sortment number, a pre-punch hold that allows action figures to be stored on this place. At the top right hand side, you will find H for an up sentence, new Power of the Force logo, centered with coins on the left hand side, a picture character on the right hand side, a Kenner logo, and figures names on the bottom part of the card. Action figure stands on blister and you will find some figures hold by plastic insert and accessories like helmet are separate from the figures with accessories like carbonite chamber hiding Han Solo figure into blister. Most of the character got their weapon taped on the actual blister next to the figure and some weapon are hold into plastic insert. There is only one card back for the whole year. It displays 92 action figures available on the market and at the bottom part of the card a special coin explanation. Action figure pictures shows new characters starting from the bottom part with previous figures still available on the market. New R2-D2 figures replace for good previous one and R2-D2 with sensor scope will no more be available. Front coin will display character's face and back side of the coin tells you about character's role in Star Wars movies. A barcode, a proof of purchase and factory code will be printed on the bottom right hand side of the card. Luke Skywalker comes with a helmet and combat poncho. He holds a Jabba's Palace laser pistol type on his right hand. Heads move from the right to the left and left to the right with movable arms on shoulders position and legs move on hips position with pegs holes underneath feet. R2-D2 is now available with a pop and lightsaber. Designed with large stickers all around cylinder's droid body, R2 comes with two articulated legs below chrome top. R2's head turns at 360 degrees with click noise and next move saber simultaneously. Romba is wearing a hood and hold a spare in his right hand. Head is fixed still and arms move from shoulder position. With movable legs and pegs holes underneath feet.
A mana man is a large creature who holds with his large hands a long hut trophy stick. Head is fixed tail and long arms move from shoulder position. With movable small legs and pegs holes underneath feet. Skiff Guard Baroda comes with bandolier, detail belt, backpack, and a combat spare. Heads move from right to the left and left to the right. He holds his combat spare on his left hand with articulated arms on shoulders position. And legs move from hips position with pegs holes underneath feet. Imperial Gunner is wearing a full face helmet with a red visor and a mini laser pistol. Heads move from the left to the right and right to the left with articulated arms on shoulders position. He holds his weapon from his right hand and legs move from hips position with pegs holes underneath feet. Han Solo comes with a carbonite chamber where you can detach figures from the back. Heads turn from the right to the left and left to the right with movable arms from shoulder position and legs move from hips position with pegs holes underneath feet. Luke Skywalker comes with a Stormtrooper outfit, movable helmet, and Imperial laser rifle. You can take off helmet by the top and heads move from left to the right and right to the left with articulated arms on shoulders position. He holds his weapon on his right hand and legs move from hips position with pegs holes underneath feet. Anakin Skywalker wear a long Jedi gown with no accessories. Heads move from the right to the left and left to the right with movable arms on shoulders position with articulated legs on hips position with pegs holes. Jabba's Palace Long Skinny Droid EV99 do not hold any accessories. Droid comes with a movable jaw and a tab behind its head. Heads pivot from right to the left and left to the right, with arms pivot from shoulder position and legs pivot from hips position with peg holes underneath feet. Warrock is wearing a hood, hold a bandolier quiver and a bow in his right hand. Head is fixed tail and arms move from shoulder position with movable legs and pegs hold underneath feet. With his rebel general pilot gear and a large cape, Lando Carrician holds a Jabba's Palace laser pistol type in his right hand. Heads move from the right to the left and left to the right with movable arms on shoulders position and legs move on hips position with pegs holes underneath feet. In his green and black gear, a wing pilot wearing a helmet and hold a mini laser pistol in his right hand. Heads move from the right to the left and left to the right with articulated arms on shoulders position. Legs move from hips position with pegs holes underneath feet. Imperial Dignitary comes with a surrounding coat and a hat but no accessories. Heads move from the right to the left and left to the right with movable arms on shoulders position 
with articulated legs on hips position and pegs holes underneath feet. The Kenner Power of the Force series is an unfinished toy line. Many toys who were initially planned to be released under this banner changed to different toy line like A-Wing Fighter who was released with Droid Cartoon TV series line or just cancelled. Never released in the US with a Power of the Force packaging, this character was available in Europe with a free logo blister and Canada on the Power of the Force bilingual packaging with collector's coin. The Canadian released Orphoyak face with a combat spear that holds in his right hand. Heads move from the right to the left and left to the right with movable arms on shoulders position with articulated legs on the hips position and pegs holes underneath feet. In 1985, Kenner manufactured only 62 coins on 92 figures and 22 figures previously released between 1978 and 1984 were available with Power of the Force packaging. There were six Star Wars action figures with Stormtrooper, Ben Kenobi, Jawa, Luke Skywalker X-Wing pilot gear, Chewbacca, Darth Vader. Three Empire Strikes Back figures with Yoda, AT-80 driver, and C-3PO detachable limbs. Thirteen Return of the Jedi figures with Gamorrean Guard, Biker Scout, Luke Skywalker Jedi Knight outfit, Han Solo trench coat, Princess Leia Organa in combat poncho, Wicket, ATST driver, The Emperor, Nikto, Bewing fighter pilot, Tebow, Paplu, and Lumat. With 1985 action figures released, only 36 coins were available with figures on store shelves. To get the whole set of 62 coins, you needed to write to Cincinnati, and then Kenner sent a large envelope with all coins against $29.95. This customer's demand to Kenner was productive and the only way to get the whole set who included Yak Face Con in the envelope. The very last special offer was organized to clean up overstock on store shelves. Malls, retail store were asking for help to add stickers promotion on every previous carded figures they could found. Free offer coin allow candidate to receive a coin randomly selected by Kenner. To make sure you will be receive a coin, you had to cut a proof of purchase, the stickers cut out, not peeled, from the actual card and send your name and address with cash registered receipt to Kenner. As regular special offer, you will have to wait from 10 to 12 weeks to get your coin. Offer expire on January 31st, 1986. With offer ending, it was the end of one of the most incredible success in Kenner history who brings the company to the top with the biggest toy maker in the world. Today, it still remains an industrial revolution, shows as an example in the business. 1978 to 1985 was a great period for developing toy concept and Kenner designer and engineer can be proud of what they accomplish. This toy line crosses continent and borders and still brings happiness to fans and collectors all around the world. I hope this review was an interest to you. Feel free to leave any comment, they are always welcome. Put a thumb up if you like it, subscribe if you haven't done it yet, and see you soon for a new Chronic Vintage.